Welcome to Real Civil YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to discuss the concept of degree of freedom. Okay, I will also clarify one thing that many uh, things that when there, there is a single mass, they think that there is a single degree of freedom system. But it is not true always. Why it is not true? I will explain. Okay, so let's start the start our concept. So we will see uh, as per the perspective of structural dynamics. This is the second part of the video of basic concept in structural dynamics. So degree of freedom means number of possible independent displacements of a mass structure. Okay, this is nothing but degree of freedom. I will explain further so that you will get clarified. So a mass generally can go six possible displacement in space. If the structure is in the space, there will be six possible displacement means three translation and three rotational. Translation means if suppose there is a structure that will either move in x direction or move in y direction or move in z direction. Okay. And similarly, it will rotate about these three axes. So this is totally six possible displacements. Okay. But if you see this degree of freedom system with respect to structural dynamic analysis, it is nothing but minimum number of independent coordinate to define completely the position of mass at any instant of time. Okay, I will explain you this concept with the help of figure. Okay, I will read this concept once again. So degree of freedom according to or corresponding to dynamic analysis means minimum number of independent coordinates that are required to completely see the position of mass at any instant of time okay this concept or this definition will get clear here okay there are according to this definition there are two types like single degree of freedom system and multiple degree of freedom system okay now you will your definition will get clear here a single degree of freedom system means a single coordinate is sufficient to define the configuration of the system at any time is known as SDOF that is single degree of freedom system means what suppose here this is a water tank there are columns and beams okay and suppose there is a seismic load okay so we this is the actual structure but for our simplification we can also draw like a string and mass system okay and if you see we generally convert our structure into spring mass model okay so spring that is means stiffness k m means mass of the structure and p means nothing but this particular force that is varying with time okay so here we consider all the things that is mass we consider the stiffness of this system we have considered here k and the lateral load we have considered and because of that this will move in this particular direction okay so suppose earthquake come and in order to find out the position of this mass we will require only one coordinate that is x that means after some time or after the lateral load this structure will move like this okay that means only one coordinate is sufficient that means x distance is sufficient to locate the position of the structure that's why we called it as a single degree of freedom system okay here m is the mass k is the stiffness and pt means loading okay now multiple degree of freedom system means more than one independent coordinate is required to define the location of the structure okay suppose this is a two story structure load is getting applied from this end this is the actual structure simplified structure we can draw for stiffness of this we can draw like this then for mass then again the stiffness of these columns will be like this and mass okay so once the earthquake lateral load is there this mass will move here and this mass will get move here and in order to find out the location of the structure 
we will require x1 as well as x2 so that we can fix up the location at any instant time okay hence we can call it as a this structure as a two degree of freedom system okay now with the help of these two example you may think like here there is only one mass hence degree of freedom is one here there are two masses hence degree of freedom two okay this is not like that i will show you one example where there is a one mass but the degree of freedom system is multiple so for that we will see this concept that is every even for single mass there can be more than one degree of freedom system okay so simple case suppose here it is a pendulum and it is moved here by the lateral load then in order to fix up this or in order to find out this position we will require theta okay that means this is a single degree of freedom system but here we have assumed that our string this particular string is inextensible it will not get stretched or compressed okay at that time we can say the single degree of freedom system suppose this string is extensible then we will require this theta as well as the extension of the string so that we can spot the location of this mass hence even it is having one mass it has two degree of freedom system okay so that's it from this video i hope all the things are get clear to you regarding degree of freedom system okay thank you thank you so much for watching the video